like but for booze. So look at me, it all comes back to booze. Just here for the booze. Let's let's that's something else I like to do. I like to just Google search asshole things. Are alcoholics just weak? Oh my god, somebody said are they selfish? Absolutely. fucking lootly. Are alcoholics selfish? Here we go. Let's let's read this trashy. A deeper look at what into why alcoholics are so selfish. <laughs> it's a disease, man. Um, all right. Many people seem to think that addicts and alcoholics are quite selfish, especially when they're using. Oh, did they, did they fucking get me here that they're not going to say they're selfish? Chances are if you had a loved one who was in an active, active addiction, We've, we'd like to invite all active addicts to board next, please. Then you've experienced the selfishness of an addict firsthand. Um, no, I'm talking about just like even when they're dry. Will, will all recovering alcoholics become less selfish? Unfortunately, no. Oh, I love this site. Not all recovering alcoholics will be willing to address their selfishness. In reality, there will be some super selfish people, including narcissists, that will continue to be self. Well, I mean, they could you can say that about anybody, right? I'm just being a dick. Are alcoholics weak? This is actually fun searches to just search shit. That the, alcoholics are not powerless. Human weakness behind alcoholism. Oh, that's not a good one. Let's let's let one last search here, and then I got to wrap this up. Our most feminist. Fem, I can't even spell it. Feminist, dumb. It's not feminist to pour bleach on man spreaders. It's just stupid. Whoa, Jesus, were they doing that? Why anti-feminism is illogical, evil, and incredibly unsexy. Well, I want to be sexy. <laughs> I thought being a feminist meant I couldn't wear lipstick or crave men with small behinds. I thought that... Oh, my God. Can you imagine actually clicking on that? Why the fuck would I read that? Uh, why did... Why, what teen did to her teacher... What teen did when her teacher said not to be a feminist... Do people just make these stories up? The results of this may surprise you. All right. It's not feminist to pour bleach on man spreaders. It's just stupid. <laughs> I had no idea that that bothered women so much to just sit. There. It's like we got dick and balls. We have stuff hanging off of us. You know, you got to make some room there. Um, it's an all tucked away, all nice and fucking tidy like your shit. Um, all right. Feminism does not deserve to be undermined by idiotic acts that set men against women. Oh my God. God bless this woman. Now here's a nice rational fucking person you could talk to. This is my new video manifesto dedicated to the problem of man spreading the disgusting act that is being fought with around the world. And it is hushed up in us. Men demonstrating their alpha manhood in the subway with women and children around. It has nothing to do with that. We're just sitting there. You built the whole backstory. <laughs> like you're sitting there. Look at my dick and balls. I will take up as much space as I want with my privates. Um, if you quickly show what kind of macho you are we will publicly cool you off this video manifesto was created in the assistant with friends who share my position i guess this is i guess it's a video of a woman pouring bleach on guys all right anyways did you hear the one about the russian student who was so fed up with man spreading that she took to the subways of saint petersburg to spray diluted bleach on men's crotches hilarious right I, I, I got to admit, that's fucking funny. And this woman says, wrong. Look, I hate manspreading as much as the next unreasonable feminist. It's antisocial. It's rude. It displays an arrogant disregard for this people sitting around you. It's behavior that women just wouldn't get away with. Uh, what are they talking about? You use the fucking men's room. 
The, the, the line is too long in the ladies' room. You use the men. You have no respect for our personal space. These fucking women, they're out of their fucking minds. I'm not saying they don't have some legitimate bitches, but the way they're acting like they're not doing anything wrong, it's just it's fucking... Anyways, let's, let's, let's read a little more. And to be clear, I don't mean that I'm advocating for men sitting with their legs clamped together. Lady, I don't give a fuck what you're... What, 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 I, you're acting like you're... you're, 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 you're uh, like you got some sort of legal legislation here that just got passed and then I have to w- adhere to this. Anyways, I don't, e- I don't either unless I'm wearing a short skirt. Nor am I insisting that men should cross their legs at all times. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. And that existing, that the existence of their penis is no barrier to doing this. Some may say crossing their, some men say crossing their legs is fine. Some men say it isn't. Not having a penis myself, I don't feel in a position to be the final arbitrator on this pressing matter. Uh, this is not a press. This is one of the dumb. This is just like, you know, global warming. Who gives a fuck about that? Corporations dictating our foreign policy.